Women's ambitions to develop a media career are often undermined not by their competence, but by their gender. For the past decade at least, women and men have been entering media industries in more or less the same numbers, and in fact the majority of European universities now graduate more women than men from their media and journalism programmes. It seems odd then, if we assume that women and men are equally competent when entering the industry, to find men advancing more quickly than women, earning a higher salary for work of equal value, and routinely achieving senior positions, leaving their women colleagues stuck in the ranks of middle management. How can we account for this phenomenon and the problem of gender inequality which lies at its heart? As well as issues of career development in terms of promotion, some studies show that part of the problem for women in the media is that they are pushed to enter particular areas of the industry which are less glamorous or highly paid or prestigious. We also know that organisational practices are not always transparent and opportunities for advancement are sometimes made visible through informal channels. In an effort to combat problems of sexism and discrimination in relation to women's career development, national, regional and indeed global reports and recommendations have been published over the past few years which argue for the development of targets for women and men in decision-making roles and to make internal processes transparent and fair. In addition, media organisations themselves have recognised the problem of undervaluing more than half their workforce and have undertaken a range of initiatives to support women in their career ambitions. You can see and read about some of these in the Resources Bank of Good Practices. Many of the strategies which have been developed to support women's careers have come about through the efforts of women themselves, particularly when they formed networks and created specific caucuses within union structures, recognising the value of working together to provide support, mentoring and to share experiences and strategies. Let's hear from Kate Kinnamont, director of the UK-based Women in Film and Television, about how her organisation is helping women in those sectors to advance their careers.